Yeah, so, you know, we treat kids and, you know, we treat um, endodontics, root canals, crowns, just fillings, regular restorative work, dentures, um, preventive, uh, preventive type services. So just all across the spectrum. Well, I think when most people think about root canals, um, the first thing they think about is how painful it might be or how long it's going to take or how expensive it is. Um, so the first, uh, the first step is, you know, you really want to make the patient comfortable. Um, so before even getting into the details of, you know, the techniques or all the equipment that you're going to be using, you want to make sure that the patient understands that you know, you're going to do everything possible to make sure they're comfortable for the procedure. So it starts with, um, with a good anesthesia, so making sure that they're nice and numb. If they have some anxiety, then maybe um, there are things you can do to reduce their anxiety. Um, so you want to start by just making the patient comfortable, all right? And then, you know, it, it helps to have, um, we do have some of the most updated um, equipment um, for cleaning and shaping and for uh, for performing root canals, so it helps to have equipment that makes the job a lot easier and faster. Um, so we we invest in that, which is which has um, been a real benefit to our patients in, uh, in terms of that. So most people are afraid of uh, going to the dentist, let alone having you know an extensive procedure like the root canal. So we want to listen to exactly what it is that they're um, that they're afraid of and try to address that before we before we get going. So once, once the patients are relaxed and, and comfortable and trusting that we're going to make it uh, an easy experience for them, then everything else kind of falls, falls through. Maybe they have extreme anxiety. Um, so for patients like that, um, you know, we have dip different types of sedation techniques that we'll use. Um, nitrous or laughing gas, um, oral sedation. Um, we have an oral surgeon uh, that, who comes through and sometimes takes care of patients who need a higher level of sedation. Um, so that's a good option for people who, who don't want to really be aware of what's going on while they're having the work done. The veneers would work for anybody who, um, who is uncomfortable with either the shape or the color or maybe the position of their front teeth. Um, so it's a good alternative, you know, if, if, if traditional uh, alignment measures like braces are not feasible or teeth whitening is something that's not going to work, then veneers would be a good option for um, to correct uh, sort of the aesthetic of your smile. Well, Invisalign is an alternative to getting traditional metal brackets and braces. And de depending on the case, um, if it's a mild case, it can be a good uh, and convenient way of realigning your teeth. Um, so the main benefit to that is that instead of having um, dealing with the, the brackets and having to keep them clean and um, just kind of the, the feeling of that bulk in your mouth, you could use uh, clear trays, which are convenient. You can take them out when you're eating and you can keep up with your hygiene. And when you go out in public, they're not readily noticeable. So it provides um, for some people a more convenient way of aligning their teeth than the traditional braces.